Buddy. You're gonna throw up? No, I was doing my dramatic... Here, I'll do it again. Oh. Bunny. Yes. Are you ready for another exciting pulse-pounding, uh, testicle-squeezing installment of everyone's favorite podcast segment, Bunny Versus? Are you ready? Are you pumped? Are you amped? Are you jazzed? Are you psyched? Are you primed? Are you hyped up? Are you ready to take that hill? Are you ready, Bunny? I am, I am ready. All right, then. Without any further ado, it's time once again for Bunny Versus. And now here is your host, Bunny Williams. Take it away, Bunny. Uh, is there anything much to say? I mean... I have, I have some. I have it, something to say. Things are worse, we're just not talking about it anymore. That's yeah. how it is. The great yeah. infrastructure bill is pretty much dead. Yeah. Because the Democrats couldn't get it past the Democrats. Yeah, which is total fucking bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hooray. Hooray. Hooray for that. Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh, I, I, I released my Dabney commemorative plate to the yawns of millions. I saw that. I thought yes. that was good. I like it, you fucks. Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. It's also one of those details that nobody's ever going to see. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Ever. When, I can never see when I'm going to take a top-down shot where you're actually going to see the picture in the ashtray. Yeah. For the first, like, year and a half or maybe two years of my YouTube channel, I worked so hard on my background. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm going to move this thing from here over here, and I'm going to move this thing over here. Let's see if anyone notices. And it's like I quickly learned no one gives a crap about my fucking background. Yeah. At all. These are just details that I'm obsessing over. So I think I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. So, uh, what else was there? Was there something else? No. How are you doing? What's going on there? Uh, well, let me tell uh, well, let me tell you what's happening. I'm starting a dogfighting league. Okay. A dogfighting federation. Uh, so I was thinking about dogfighting this week. And, uh, people hate it. Yeah. I did some focus testing, and people said they hate dogfighting. So we did a lot of research to try and figure out why. And the reason why people hate dogfighting is because dogs get hurt. So my well, dogfighting... Well, well it's, it, they also get hurt. They get hurt, but they're also forced into dog fighting. The dog does not have a choice. Yes. But uh, I'm changing all of that. I, 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 I think I'm already vibing where you're going. Go ahead. Pro dog fighting. Yeah. It's professional wrestling for dogs. So we have a dog come out, you know, in a Speedo. Yeah. Maybe Boots. So it'll be funny, they'll be walking that weird way that dogs do when they have shoes on. And, you know, pyrotechnics, but not too many because the dogs will get scared. And then we do dog fighting, but we teach dogs how to sell the move. So a dog right. goes, and pretends to bite into the other dog, and the other dog goes, Oh, I have been bitten. Yes. Oh, no. Woof. You know? 
Oh no, Fido's coming in with a steel chair in its mouth. Now the other dog is tugging at it. Now they're running around in a circle. Now they're licking each other's assholes. You know? Professional dog fighting. And then yeah. we can have a Ric Flair dog. <laughs> I was really proud of this. His, his catchphrase will be, Woof! That'll be his catchphrase. Yeah. So, really excited about this. I'm already trying to line up some potential investors. Professional dog fighting. This is going to sweep the nation. Yeah. Sweep the nation. Uh, also... See, I, 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 I would... Something else uh, similar that I would like to see, you know, is definitely cockfighting, but, like, use real cocks. That is, that is also a very... You know what? Here's the thing. Cockfighting, but instead of using, like, chickens, roosters, whatever the hell, we use people that are real cocks. Like Gene Simmons can be a yeah. cockfighter. Yeah. And, you know? And he's fighting Alex Jones. No, I'm thinking actual penises. And we put penises into different little costumes, and then we make them fight. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's also a good idea. That can be a, that can be a, a like an offshoot of my well, professional dressed doctor. up as Batman... You know. Yeah. You can uh, have a Wonder Woman cock. The sky is the limit. Triple H, Hunter Hard Hemsley. Yes. That's a good one. Trying to quickly think of some... Uh, <laughs> Penis-related wrestling. wrestling. So that's a... That's a... Yeah. Thing. It's difficult to make professional wrestling um, more homoerotic than it already yeah. is, but there's possibilities there. Also, I've been suffering extreme severe depression, but before I get to that, did you know how it, it, the small but dedicated base of hardcore Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade fans are out there? Okay. I did not. I thought I was the only one who was super obsessed with the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, but yeah. no. I, I did a video this week uh, on my kids' YouTube channel where we I read a book about the history of the Macy's Parade, and I wanted to use all of these clips and all of this history about the Macy's Parade, but I had a hard time tracking them down. I found a Wikipedia created by hardcore Macy's Parade enthusiasts that have a list of every single solitary person group that has been in a Macy's Parade. Here's 1992. Here is the list. First, there's this uh, high school's marching band. Then this singer on this float by this company. Then this balloon. And it, it was such a huge help. Such a massive help. I didn't realize that there were people that took it that seriously, as seriously as I do it round about every Thanksgiving. Yes. And, I've, and so I've been looking for actual parades, and you won't believe the ones that I found. On YouTube, I have found the 2016 parade, 2011, 2005, 1995, 1990, 1984, 1980, and 1976. And on archive.org, I found what I believe to be the long, the, the earliest full-length Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade telecast, which is from 1959. Really? Yeah. So this is my new thing, is that I'm going to be doing this... Uh, for the next couple of weeks uh, leading up to Thanksgiving, is that if I'm ever bored and I don't know what to watch, maybe I should watch something on YouTube. Maybe I should watch a movie. Fuck it. I'm going to get high and watch a Macy's Parade. <laughs> Some of them have commercials. Most of them do not. 
But yeah, it's just the parade. And it's really interesting. I started watching uh, 1992's parade. And it's so weird to be like, to be like, here's a sweeping shot of New York. Make sure we get that World Trade Center in there. Yeah. Man, love that World Trade Center. That will never go away. What's more New York than the Twin Towers? That will always be there. So, so yeah, I, I, I got a bunch of Macy's parades. I'm really cool. excited. Really and that was a damn good episode. Uh, I, I was the first person to single out Cheech's performance at the Macy's parade and put it on YouTube. Really? No one else had done it. If you search... Uh, Cheech Marin Macy's Parade. My video is the only one that'll pop up. The only other videos that'll pop up is in 1992. He did release a kids album. Yeah. And so he performed the opening song to his kids album, which I believe was his attempt at a backdoor pilot. Okay. Because like, oh hey, I'm Cheech. And now I'm a school bus driver driving kids, getting into adventures. Maybe this could be live action or maybe animated, maybe a weekly TV series, PBS, or maybe some sort of Nickelodeon show. Give me a call, I think is what that was. Yeah. But, but no one ever took him up on it. But, but yeah, no one had ever singled that out. It took a lot of hard work to find Cheech's performance at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Really proud of how all of that turned out. Good. Uh, also, I've uh, uh, talking about my depression. This is the best way that I feel like. This is the best way that I can describe it. Uh, I'm bipolar. I have bipolar disorder, but up until. But throughout most of my life, my 20s and 30s, it was a thing to the side. Yeah. That like, hey, I'm a dad, and I'm also a storyteller, and I'm also uh, all of these things. Oh, yeah, I also have bipolar disorder. I also have post-traumatic stress disorder. But primarily, I'm a hard worker at the bookstore, and I'm a storyteller, and I'm a dad, and I'm a husband. And, and, and the way I always explained bipolar was there's the outer bipolar and there's the inner bipolar. And the outer bipolar are those people like one or possibly both of my brothers-in-law where they're kind of, they can be a danger to other people. Yeah. And they have manic episodes and they go, they get angry and maybe violent and the police are called. And... I have that, but it's all inside of me where I just hate myself 24-7. Yeah. And that's always just been something that I've, you know, that I've dealt with every day. But it, as far as I can tell, the older I get, the more severe my bipolar becomes. And my yeah. depressive episodes are getting stronger and longer, and it's been a really dark week for me, a really dark month for me. And I'm trying to bounce back from that, and I'm trying to be more positive, and I'm trying to do things that will help me get better. And one of the things that will help is just having a shorter, more simpler uh, format for the podcast. I love Shap, but I, but I like Maxwell. And like Mal, when it comes to shafts, I dive head first into fucking rabbit holes. Yeah. And shafts become something that I spend five or six hardcore days on researching and working on and writing and rewording and doing all of these things while also preparing for the one after that and maybe the one after that and looking for more. I have a file on my computer of like 18 different shafts and each one will take so much work and I, the next one I was going to do I was going to have to download German kids books and, and it's like 
I love them, but I need to not do them for a while. Well, and also, sure. So, so you know, we have some bits that are not all the time, like wrestling yeah. news or yeah. news smatterings. We yeah. have bits that are just occasional bits. Yeah. So when you feel like when you feel like going head deep into a big pile of shap, you okay. you can do that. And yeah. It'll be a special thing. It'll be a, a very a very special episode. A very of the Pope special on Film episode podcast. of the Pope on Film. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, that's exactly what I'm going for. We have a psychic bond, Sheridan. So yeah, so that's all I've got. How you doing, Bunny? I'm okay. I can't think of anything at all that happened this week. Cool. Well, we can take a break and talk about this week's movie. <laughs> I can't think of anything interesting going on. I can't think of anything I'm particularly looking forward to. I'm not uh, nearly I, as excited as, uh, for The Eternals. I, I... I just am not that interested. And Shang-Chi Shang was a great movie, and so... I, I think Shang-Chi is such a good movie. It's fun. It's like when you used to go see Marvel movies, you know? Yeah. Like like back in the day when they were all just fun and, you know, like seeing Captain um, the first Captain America movie for the first time or the Avengers or, you know, like it's so much fun. And I feel that the Eternals are just like, oh, back up, everyone. This is a prestige one. And it's like, I don't yeah. want these really super massively important Marvel movies. I just want something that's fun and dumb that, that I'll enjoy and eat popcorn like crazy during. Yeah. Yeah. So I understand what you're coming from. I, I'm going to watch The Eternals, and I'm going to like it, but like, eh. And, and I'm, I'm getting tired of all <clears throat> the Spider-Man news. You know, like, I'm getting burnt out on the movie before the movie fucking comes out. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, movie hasn't even come out yet. It's ridiculous. There's a I lot. Mean, I'm just, like, I, I was more excited about it, and now I'm just kind of like, you know, okay, there's going to be a lot yeah. of Spider-Mans. It, it's yeah. sounding like a confused mess. Only because people can't keep their fucking mouth shut. Because chances are good, half the shit you're saying isn't going to actually fucking happen. Yeah. Yeah, I... But with, with all the theories and bullshit going around, fucking movie sounds like a hot goddamn mess. Yeah. It's... And then it's going to be goddamn spoilers every which way but loose. Yeah. You know? There's just going to be spoilers coming at you in all goddamn directions. But if there are enough spoilers, a philosophical question. If there are a multitude of spoilers and a good portion of those spoilers are not true. Uh-huh. Are there any actual spoilers anymore? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, spoiler for the new Spider-Man movie. He shoots webs. I've heard that. Yeah. That's a Pope on Film exclusive. There will be webs. Yeah. 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 Big deal. Big, big deal. So then, let's get to our movie. What do you think? Uh, I think that, hey, Bunny, want to become famous? Buy followers and viewers on TotalBullshit.com. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dark Ridey O underscore O we're, we're totally gonna do that oh yeah one okay. thing, 
Ice because cream, what are you talking about? If there's one thing that we've always been about here at the Pope on Film, it's a massive amount of followers and viewers. Yeah. That's what we're known for. Yeah. It, so, it, yeah. Exactly. Thanks, and, thanks and, for chiming in on Twitch there. And, and buying followers, like, wow. What a revolutionary concept. Wow, I've never seen anyone else do that before. Have not, have not, have not heard of this. This is, this is a complete revelation to me, even <clears throat> though a former president has done it. I am shocked and chagrined, mortified and stupefied by this incredible news. Yes. This is even bigger news than our exclusive, that in the next Spider-Man film, there will be webs. There will be webs. Yeah, that that's a spoiler. So I, I, I'm, I'm thinking we may need to take a break and look into this whole buying followers thing. You know what? Yeah, we still need to talk about a movie. So yes, uh, taking a break, I concur with that. Good, sir. <laughs> uh, so do you want to you wrap this up, though, this segment, yes. in, in the usual way? Yes, I do. So, you know, always, along with buying followers, people ask me, Bunny, what do you really think? What do you really, really think of self-adhesive tape? Yeah, and people you know what I always say. Self-adhesive tape? Yes, Please. I love that so much. And cut on that. <laughs>